Hi, thank you for joining me for this short video designed to introduce you to Data on Demand. So what is Data on Demand? Well, essentially, it's giving you the ability to leverage the power of SCON to get the right data to the right users at the right time. And we're doing it by using SCON agent tasks and using dashboards to automatically fire those tasks. So when your users are viewing uh, the information they're, they're, they need, they get the data they want. So SCOM agent tasks on demand, and because of our total dashboard architecture, those can be put into dashboards, into drill downs, or even into alerts, which is incredibly powerful. It's a lightweight and on-premise solution. So there's no new infrastructure components, it's just using SCOM, and it's using the much overlooked SCOM agent tasks. And our mentality here is that you don't need to use a sledgehammer to crack a nut. When you want to get vital data insights, you don't always need to be collecting all the data all the time. To get those insights, you need that data when you need it. So that's the point at which you should collect it and you don't then need to store it. And obviously this makes the solution very, very uh, lightweight and really relieves the sort of burden of kind of continuous data collection and storage from you. And as I say, it allows you to automatically deliver insights to your users immediately right at the moment when they're looking at data no more digging around to find it that's enough of the slides let's show you that in action in a demo i thought i'd start this demo just on a top level dashboard showing me the health of my windows servers and i can see here that there's an issue with web01 so i'm just going to click to drill down into that So we've come down into Web01 on our overview view, but what I'd like to direct your attention to is this perspective tab here called Processes and Events. And I'm just gonna to click to take a look at this. And what's been returned here is all of the processes currently running on this server and recent event trees from the event logs. And as you can see, it was quick, simple, and seamless and that data is apparently there just waiting for us to take a look at it. Now, in fact, that data wasn't there just waiting for us. It's been collected on demand. So as we've gone down, drilled into that dashboard, drilled into that perspective, SCOM agent tasks have automatically fired and pulled us back that data straight away. And as you can see, it's more or less instantaneous. So to know what's running on this server, we don't now need to go off and RDP to it. That data can be pulled back to us. And the really cool thing about this is this is totally configurable and not on a kind of per server basis, but even on a global basis. So these are just some examples of the types of data you can pull back using SCOM agent tasks. This is totally configurable, both within individual dashboards and perspectives, but also in terms of the data you can pull back. So if there's data that you want from one of your servers, if you can write a SCON management pack with a task in it that's able to pull back that data, which should be sort of fairly straightforward, then you can put that data into your squared up dashboards and perspectives and deliver it straight to your users. So let me give you a little example of that. I'm just going to go into edit mode on this perspective and I'm gonna add a new section and I'm gonna choose the tile here, on demand task text. So let me select that. I'm gonna set the scope to inherit. So it's going to uh, show me this for this particular object. And I'm gonna choose a task to run. And I think as a simple example, we'll choose IP config. So select IP config. I'm going to hit apply changes to execute that task. Just make sure that runs okay. And there we go, there's my IP config information. If I can choose the format that that task data is returned in, I'm gonna leave it as it is for now. I'm gonna hit IP config and that information will now be being pulled back automatically. So that's great. And I'm going to now publish the changes to this perspective. So hit publish and then confirm. 
And there we go. So now, whenever I drill down to look into Web01, under that process and events perspective, I'm able to see the current perspectives, I'm able to see recent uh, entries from the event logs, and I'm also able to see IP config of the box. But the beauty of Total Dashboard Architecture is that I'm not only able to see this for Web01, because this is a perspective, actually, if I drill down to Web02, let me find that using our quick search. So here's Web02. I've got a process and events perspective. I hit process and events and immediately on demand that live data is pulled back using SCOM agent tasks, current processes, event logs and IP config. So that's just a very quick introduction to the data on demand, hopefully it's given you a taster of how powerful a feature it is. Thank you very much for listening.